What's up guys? First reaction to a video of Mr. Beast. I never reacted to a video of Mr. Beast. So let's go and check it out. This guy is giving free stuff, doing great things. So uh, big shout out to Mr. Beast, man. Let's go. What if I told you that this card alone has saved over 3 million people from malnutrition? Let That's me explain. Crazy. 241 million tons of food is produced in the USA every year. And what okay. is frightening is that more than one third of it goes to waste. This Whoa. means that 150 billion potential meals are being thrown into landfill, while 44 million Americans live with limited access to food. And what's puzzling is that it's taken this long for someone to find a solution to this problem. Meet Evan, a college kid from Philadelphia. I originally started just as a student with leftover meal swipes in my dining account. And I've realized as I was getting close to the end of the term, I have 50 meals left that I know I'm what? not gonna be able to use. And I just had a pit in my stomach thinking about all of those meals going to waste. I decided to swipe out all those meals and put them in the back of my car. And have an entire car That's crazy. with leftover meal swipes. This is all going to go to feed homeless people today Bro, all throughout no Philadelphia. Cap. This no may cap. be the only meal that they have. <clears throat> no cap, bro. That's good, man. Just, bro, just think about it. You know how many restaurants are throwing food away as well? A lot, you know, in Amsterdam as well. It's it's crazy. So, now nah, this is the right thing to do, man. Definitely. Have that day. It took me a couple of <clears throat> years to kind of build up this momentum. Everyone became a part of it. I kind of had that first inkling of this could be something that a lot of other people want to join on to as well. This was the start of Evan's organization, Sharing Excess, whose mission is to rescue and collect food that would otherwise go to waste and redistribute it for free to people in need all around Philadelphia. Behind me is our first warehouse. It used to be a boxing gym, and That's we crazy. turned it into this makeshift distribution facility where we learned how to move larger amounts of food. This is really where it all began. That's crazy. But the cost of maintaining this operation became extremely expensive and nearly impossible for Evan and his small team to sustain alone. There's no money in this. I have to figure out a way to pay rent, put food on the table for myself, even if my dream is to put food on the tables of everyone else. All of this work just goes for nothing and I have to start sure. all over again. That's where we reached out to Beast Philanthropy and we pitched this wild idea. Hey, we want to break the record for the world's largest food distribution with Beast Philanthropy. So I flew Darren to Philadelphia to check out the current state of their operation, where he joined Evan for one of their local weekend distributions. This is Malcolm X Park. We've been distributing here every Saturday for the last three years. Oh, it's become a regular routine for hundreds of people. Bro, that's beautiful, bro. No cap. I think more and more people need to do that in the world because you know, a lot of people are suffering, man. A lot of people. And right now in these times, bro, like things right now are so, are so not cheap. Definitely not. Bro, you go to the store, you buy chips, chips for four euros or something like that, bro. That's crazy. Hundreds of families to come out here and get the groceries that they need every weekend. After witnessing everything that Evan had done to help this community, it didn't take but an hour to know that we had committed to partnering with Sharing Excess to help them achieve their goal of feeding as many people as possible. Together, we are going to be able to establish an operation that is going to provide tens of millions of meals to food insecure people around America. So Evan gave Darren a tour of their existing warehouse at the largest produce market in the Mid-Atlantic region. You have 18 of the largest produce vendors in the 700,000 square foot warehouse. We started to grow into a real company and now we have over 30 employees and we're That's rescuing crazy. food in 19 different states. All of the food That's that crazy. we receive, none of it has to go to waste in a landfill. And we've created a sorting operation downstairs where we're able to go through each and every one of those boxes, pick out the one or two bad tomatoes that we see in a box, and get the rest of the great food that's still edible out to communities that same day. Since starting their operations at this distribution center, Sharing Excess have just rescued over 14 million pounds of food at this facility alone and redistributed yeah, it to go. communities in neighboring states. Let's go. However, Evan had his sights set on a much bigger goal, so we took on our biggest feat yet, helping Sharing Excess acquire Hunts Point Produce Market, the largest produce market in the world in New York Sick. City, and that operation is going to be three times larger than the one that we have in Philly. So Darren and Evan traveled to New York to officially Sick. open their distribution at Hunts Point. 
When I first walked through the doors and I saw just the sheer magnitude of this place, I literally felt like an ant. It's so cool to finally be in a place that has enough food for us to actually make a huge dent in the problem. After a year of planning okay. and preparation, it was finally time to open the recovery okay. center at Hunts Point. All right, Darren, it's taken us a long time, but we're finally here. Let's do this. Let's do Let's this. Let's go. Yo. Let's go. After Let's cutting go. the ribbon with Evan today, I realized uh -huh. just how impactful this program is about to be. This uh -huh. is just the very beginning of something exceptional. It's Bro, taken so it's much time to man. get here and to I got, just know I don't, I don't that this team put everything together to make it possible and to now see it come true. I can't mm. even express the feeling. With Hunts Damn. Point officially secured, it was time for sharing access to do their biggest distribution yet and the first one they had ever done in New York City. So while they load up the trucks, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Ibotta. Ibotta Whoa. is a mobile app that gives you real cash back on the food that you purchase. <coughs> They're helping provide equitable access to food for communities in need. And they are taking it one step further. They want to give your family a free Hutchinson School. Yes. This is an elementary school in the Bronx, and this is our first time ever distributing in New York City. We're so excited to finally be able to feed New Yorkers with the operation that we have, that mm -hmm. we started at Hunts Point, and now we can get that fresh produce out to communities like you see here. When we first started Beast Philanthropy just two and a half years ago, our goal was to feed 400,000 meals in the first year. Now we'll mm -hmm. be doing just over 2 million meals a month, That's and this sick. is just the beginning. That's so sick. many people came out, literally hundreds of people from all across the community. And that's what we love to see. We love to see people coming okay. together over the share value of food. Just to see the look on the kids' faces when they got those meals, man, it just, it warmed my heart. Honestly, I didn't expect this for my life, but it's become my entire life's purpose. When I started sharing excess, I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that this was something that felt good, and it felt good to do something good for other people. So far, we've rescued over 30 million pounds of food, but really, our journey has just begun. Working with organizations like Beast Philanthropy, we hope to bring this impact to countries all over the world and make sharing excess a common practice for humanity everywhere. If I can start something, anyone can start something. You too. You and the time it has taken you to watch this video, 280 pounds of food has already been rescued by Beast Philanthropy and Sharing Excess. It is because of that we are able to continue to support organizations like Sharing Excess that make a difference yeah. all around the world. Yeah. I just want you to know that I'm incredibly grateful for all of you. Also, if you don't subscribe, I will blow up your phone. So do it right now. Let's go. Nah, this is sick, bro. This is, this is sick, bro. That's why I big shout to Mr. Beast, bro. You know, you got like a large community and you got a lot of money. And what you gonna do with it? He's helping people as well, bro. And he's making content as well. When, when you know, when he's making content, he's making money as well. So he's doing the right thing. So big shout to him. He's young as well. And that mindset is, is different. It's, that's beautiful, you know? A lot of people need to have that too, man. But yeah, uh, big shout out to everyone that's watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below what you thought about this video. And let's get it, man. Air Force.